Oh my god, I so needed this. This is what we do in Van Wyck for, no? Like, this is literally places. what we've been dreaming of for the past two and a half weeks. Good morning guys, today is going to be a super exciting day because we're finally heading somewhere that we've been waiting weeks to go. It's 6.30 a.m. right now. We're about to get up and start driving the final stretch into Banff National Park, our first day in the Rockies. And we are super excited for everything that Banff is known for, like the incredible scenery, the hiking. This is... Wow. Parking our van up somewhere nice, we're doing a little barbecue um, and just enjoying van life, especially after the two and a half weeks that we just spent in the parking lot of the Ford dealership in Regina with our breakdown. You've probably seen those videos. So we cannot wait to get to Banff and to enjoy the Rockies. You can start to see our first glimpses of the Rockies in front of us. Like they're still shrouded in clouds, wow. but wow. It's amazing. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're in the mountains, guys. All right, guys, going hiking in Banff finally, but is really recommended is this baby bear spray because this is really the center of bear country and there's not just black bears which is I mean scary but there's really large grizzly bears so we actually nice. each have one and a holster because I read that that's best and okay, so now it's loaded if I push this then we spray bring it on you berries come on come on Got something for you. We're gonna do a pretty long hike after we um, get to Lake Marine, which is where we're off to in a minute. And we need a bunch of food. It's banana with uh, peanut butter. Shaved coconuts. Shaved coconuts. Uh, some raspberries, some blueberries, all of this into a wrap. Oh, some chocolate as well. These babies suck. <laughs> oh. So we're now in Banff National Park. We just parked up here at this massive parking lot where you can take a shuttle to both Lake Louise and Lake Marine. And that is what we're doing right now. This is it, folks. We made it. To Lake Marine, one of the absolute most beautiful spots in it's almost in a way as if this isn't real like you've seen it in so many pictures and it's like stepping into a painting like look at this like what the actual heck turquoise blue water it's super clear this is apparently this is glacial water apparently which is why it's so clear and why it's so beautiful um, but no first swim. it only starts because, because we're almost at 2,000 meters elevation um, at this lake and apparently it only starts to fall in June oh. you can even rent a canoe here guys but um, well I really like my kidneys <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 130 a uh, Canadian dollar, which is about 100 US dollars per hour. Per hour so it's uh, <clears throat> a little bit steep to say the least. All right, we're heading up, folks. Today we are doing the Large Valley and Sentinel Pass Trail. I don't think Sentinel Pass is fully open yet, but we're gonna have a look. Because there's been a bit of snow actually recently. Yeah. And quite a few trails are closed. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, 
so this hike is class as difficult because it's pretty steep. Even the first two kilometers, it's like a 300 meter elevation gain. But the views we're gonna have, like, look where I'm pointing my finger. That's Lake Marine. Look around me, the mountains. I think these views are gonna be very, very, very worth it. Wishful thinking as well. <laughs> Am I the Disney princess now? <laughs> I feel like he might jump at me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he was sitting right here and he was already like at his back legs, like in jumping position. I was like, I'm gonna move back. I like your little squirrel, but. I love Banff. There like he is love. again. You don't have to. Can't make this up. This is just this is unreal. Sick. Wow. Holy Beautiful trees. Holy moly camera. I think soon we're gonna be above the tree line. Maybe get some even better views than this, but I mean even if this is it. Let's turn around. We're halfway. Let's turn around. Halfway to the top. We're not quitters too. Pain's temporary, quitting is forever. I know. We can start really start showing the altitude now. Dude. I think we're at 2,500 meters. The poutine that we had in vagina. The second poutine. The third poutine. I'm feeling it all. Damn. It's about 20 degrees, I would say. And we're walking in our t-shirts, but we're in the snow. <laughs> and over there is a pass we're trying to get to. The one that has a little few dark clouds gathering and this is a view we're already getting like this is just oh. I've done about 80% of the way probably. Yeah, this is the... We've got a kilometer to go and about a little bit less than 200 meters, like 160 or 90 meters. But we saved the sketchiest for last. Yeah. <laughs> I read some uh, reports from yesterday, people who did it yesterday, saying it was uh, pretty sketchy. And uh, most of those people use like, what do they call them again? Micro spikes? Checking poles and micro spikes, which is almost like um, crampons, but like a min mini crampon. Yeah. I mean, we're just gonna start up and I mean, it's really steep some parts. We're just gonna start up here and then see where we can go. So we scrambled about, let's say one third of the way up, but it's getting like, it's a single file path and it's really narrow and it's already quite slippery. And honestly, I mean, all the people I've seen come down so far had these mini thingies on. I'm sorry, I know you can go if you want, but just... I can see the disappointment on his yeah, face. I mean, <laughs> it's okay, I mean, you can call it, it's no worries, but yeah, I am disappointed. I mean, if you don't, if you're not comfortable, that's it. So yeah, just, it doesn't seem like the best idea. All right, I'm calling it. We're <laughs> gonna turn back. Let's go. Just really grateful to be here. This beautiful landscape with these, I think this is ten peaks, and just do this beautiful hike. Wow! 
Look how many people there are here now. So many more than this morning when we got here. It is a Canada Day weekend. There are no more campsites available everywhere. All the campsites are fully booked. I mean, they've been booked for a long time. But normally, we never stay on a campsite, but in a national park, you're not allowed to camp outside of a, a normal campsite. And, and like they're really strict on it, you get fines and stuff. So, we're going to drive out of the national park. But the issue is that apparently part of the highway is closed or something. There was a sign, I'm not sure what's going on. But we're just gonna drive and see where we can get. Oh my god, it's a slow for bears. I have a camera in my hand. If this is a bear or whatever, it's not gonna be like the last time where we couldn't film it because I did not have the camera. It's only 38 kilometers more, but uh, it's still one hour. It's a 40 minute delay. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah. We need a campsite, sir. We might as well do some editing. Do you know why the two pairs broke up? They couldn't continue anymore, they were like polar opposites. Oh my god. Are you embarrassed? <sighs> no! Do you know what the bear's favorite poet was? Are you just... You have a bunch of bear puns on your phone! I thought you were at least being original and... Like the last two were... Uh, uh, William Shakespeare? <sighs> we're moving! Fox, we're moving! No, no, not panicking! We're moving! Yeehaw! Alright guys, we found a spot for the night. I think it's pretty acceptable. We are right on the river here. Look at this. Look at this view, the forest behind us, the mountains over there. Wow guys, this is just amazing. We're actually at the edge of Yoho National Park. But that side of the river is National Park, this side is not, and then over there it's not, so wow. The only problem is we want to make a small campfire and there is no wood here and we don't have any. Hi there! Is this I have a, something for you! Is this with alcohol? No, just lime juice. <laughs> oh, well, that's pretty good too. Again, I hope so too. Oh my god, I so needed this mm. after two weeks in the parking lot in Regina. Oh. <laughs> I think I found the perfect marshmallow roasting spot in this fire. Right over here. Mm. There you go, lightly toasted, evenly on all sides, my lady. Wow. Uh, I just need to do mine now. Oh. And on a scale from 1 to 10, how perfect was it? It's actually perfect. Yeah? That's the best one. Oh. <laughs> mm. Morning, guys. Morning. I don't really. 
really good and long sleep, which was long, really yeah. neat, I think. Oh, yeah. Just can't get over this view. I mean, just look at this. That game, you missed a memo where I said that we were going to get up. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. So nice to be able to take a hot shower in your van. Oh. All right, so we are heading back into Banff National Park. We're gonna go see the number one highlight of the National Park, the thing everyone goes to watch. And you haven't really been to Banff if you haven't been there. I mean, just look at this, guys. Like, how is this even real? It is just, like, out of this world beautiful. So strange, there's so many Asian people here, it especially looks like I mean, it looks like to me Indian people, but also many other Asian people. I think more than half of the people, I think even three quarters of the people here are Asian and most of them are Indian. It's so weird, it's like feels like you're in Asia or something. Like if you take a wrong turn somewhere. And there's even spots like this where you can have it all to yourself, but no one here. Some people have recommended us to go there at the Fair View Hotel, which is one of the most expensive hotels here, to have a wine there and then with the lake view. So I'm just checking the prices. Well, I can't find like any prices per glass, but I mean, we could spend our whole monthly budget here in just one bottle of wine, so. But uh, they at least have some beer prices that are fairly okay, so. <laughs> What a view. Got myself a local beer. Surprisingly though, the prices are very reasonable here for drinks. This beer is 11 Canadian. This is what you pay in a normal bar, or at least what we've been paying up till now, like 9 or 10 Canadian. So we asked to be seated by the bar, because we're only having some drinks. The yeah. food here is really expensive. We're right by the window, we couldn't get any better seats, I think. I don't think, yeah, you can see it. That's Lake Louise right there. Well, that's the waiter I was pointing at, <laughs> but right behind him is Lake Louise. <laughs> yeah, this guy is called Lake Louise. Mm. What a view. It feels nice to have a beer here. Order ourselves a few little beer snacks here. Got some bread and some butter. Some freshly made french fries. I gotta say, I prefer Belgian fries, but at least they have mayonnaise here, which is really cool. Mm. Million dollar view. Not bad for two people who live in a car. <laughs> <laughs> something off the side of the road here I think it's a moose it's quite far away and not really tempted to go closer yeah. although a lot of people got out of their car to get closer to it yeah. I feel like this can literally go wrong at any minute because the moose keeps slowly inching towards them and the people keep moving towards the moose to get a better shot and I get like wanting to get a better shot because I too would appreciate a close-up of the moose but All right, finally made it to the campsite. It is raining a little bit, but it should clear up, hopefully. Uh, we booked this campsite to Jack, Maine, which is near a lake. Um, first night sleeping in the national park, hey, hey. Look at this guy. He has just like a hammock and a sail above it, and he just sleeps like that. That is very badass. Oh, this is us, 25G. getting a little bit full. Uh, 
I mean, at least now we've made some really good progress. Started here, went this way, all this way, yeah, until here, Crazy. and that's Alaska. So, I mean, that's good. We've already done about 7,000 kilometers, I think, from our 10,000 kilometer trip to Alaska. So that's, that's pretty good, folks. For now, we're just gonna skip PC, drive up to the Yukon directly, or maybe I'll pass between PC. Skip to the Yukon directly and then go to Alaska and on our way back down to the mainland US, we're gonna visit the uh, BC area. We have about one week left to do the rest of Banff and Yukon and to get to Alaska. Yeah. Just about a little bit depending on the weather. Obviously we lost a lot of time um, in Regina, I think, all yeah. in all. We lost like three weeks probably due to the van breakdown. Yeah, two and a half, three weeks. The Pan American part is sort of in our mind. It's divided into two bits. The part until Panama, which we were thinking of doing before Christmas, and then South America, which is after that. But for the part until Panama, we had like four weeks buffer in total. Yeah, we made an approximate schedule like, I don't know, four weeks Canada, six weeks US, two weeks Alaska. And I don't know by heart anymore, but. Somehow we uh, we had left four weeks as a buffer, but yeah, we already like you've used up three of those weeks. Yeah, we've already used those up. So, so yeah, we're gonna see. Next couple of days, we're going to uh, drive what is said to be the most beautiful road trip in the world. You have Banff National Park here, you have Jasper National Park there, and in between you have the Ice Fields Parkway, uh, about 250 kilometers. That's supposed to be really, really beautiful. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.